Welcome to Solar Balls Theory. Today, we will explore if the Big Bang episodes actually happened at all. Well, of course they did, right? But if you look at these episodes, there's something off with their storytelling when compared to the rest of the show. Instead of events just happening in real time, we instead get the story through Astro Dude telling the origins of the universe to his family. This then got me wondering if he was actually an unreliable narrator on the early parts of the solar system, and if so, then we may not know the whole story of what happened in the early parts of the show, which could change how we see events relating to Planet X's expulsion, or Jupiter's grand tap. So, let's figure this out, once and for all. To begin, we know what happens in this arc is a story told by Astrodude, through his narration over most of it, especially in episode 1, and from the constant interjections from Astrodude and his wife. ...from being initially combined into one. Maybe you could simplify that part a little bit? ...during the telling of the story. I mean, even during the first episode, we see that he makes the four fundamental forces of the universe into characters to make it easier for his family to understand. Plus, there is also this fun meta joke which may hint that this whole show is just one big story told by Astro Dude. If your astronaut gig doesn't pan out, you could always be a teacher. And spend my days telling stories about inanimate objects with over-exaggerated personalities? Who would even enjoy that? But that's probably not true, as it would be weird for him to self-insert himself as a character thinking he's going insane from the talking planets. Okay, I'm losing my mind. So there, I proved that this episode is a story from Astro Dude, which we all knew anyway, but the more important question is could he be able to recount everything exactly from the Big Bang? Well, no. There would be no way he would know exactly what happened because humanity wasn't there and couldn't observe it, and only have theories on it, thus making this story unreliable. But does that mean that some, if not all of it, is untrue? Like, if it was actually not true and we were missing important events, wouldn't we be given hints through the show, like for example different people's recounts of the events not matching up? Additionally, in the prologues of the Planet X episodes, we see the use of scenes from the Big Bang episodes as if they were canon. Now, this planet holds a grudge against Jupiter because of some mysterious events that happened. We also see Jupiter and Saturn both remember these events as they were shown in the Big Bang episodes, scene by scene, which ultimately disproves this theory meaning that Astro Dude's and humanity's knowledge of the universe is accurate in the Solar Balls universe. On one last note, Solar Balls cleverly utilises the medium of storytelling to demonstrate what actually happens in the show, as the only time that events in an episode didn't actually happen was in LEGO Planet, where we find out that it was all a dream by Astro Son, and this was clearly shown to us as that episode was in LEGO until he woke up. It's time for school. I said it's... Time for school! Come on, off your back. So as the Big Bang episodes were in the normal animation style, we can comfortably say that those events did actually happen. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this shorter start video, let me know in the comments. But for now, don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, see ya!